Oh, man. Do y'all understand how badly I wanted these? As a huge Steph Curry fan, as a huge Warriors fan, and just as a sneakers fan overall, it was a must that I picked up this pair. I know y'all are looking at the screen like, can you open the box? So with no further ado, today we're talking about the Under Armour Curry 4 Retro in the More Magic colorway. This is crazy to think that I actually have these in hand right now. These bad boys were originally released back in October of 2017. This is back when Steph and KD and the Warriors were dominating the NBA. But that release was primarily in China and then you had a handful of stores here in the US that did get these. But fast forward five years and we finally have a retro of the Under Armour Curry 4 More Magic. Now this retro pair had to be one of the quietest releases that I've ever seen. In fact, I just randomly stumbled upon an ad from Foot Locker about a week ago, and that's what prompted me to buy these. But I didn't see any word coming from Under Armour or Curry Brand about these. Steph Curry's best looking sneaker ever coming back to the market. Foot Locker's website had these selling for a retail price of 150 US dollars. It's refreshing to see a sneaker price tag at $150, especially coming off of that last review of the Air Jordan 3, which was 210 US dollars. I automatically had to throw these in my cart because if some of you will remember prior to this, people were selling these on the secondary market for upwards of $500. But before we jump into the details of the Curry 4 More Magic, I just have to say that this release was also very sloppy. On top of the fact that nobody was talking about this retro, Foot Locker's Instagram ad also advertised these as the Curry 10, which we've also reviewed on this channel. And then you head over to the website and the thumbnail is an image of the medial side. I'm not sure what was going on on the e-commerce side, but Foot Locker, if you need some help, you know, just let me know. Yeah, I feel like this could have been a huge release for Under Armour, being that we haven't seen these retro, and a lot of people have this high on the ranks of Under Armour shoes overall, and of course, of Steph Curry signature shoes. And this is kind of their debut in America because that first release was primarily China. Anyway, let's jump into the details of the Under Armour Curry 4 more magic you get this very simple black box you got some black bubbles on it and i completely forgot about this old sc steph curry logo at this point i'm just so used to seeing that curry brand logo on the side you do have that under armor branding as well but you open the box up and right there on that tissue you have more of that sports center steph curry branding and it also says, I can do all things. That's a verse that Steph Curry's taken from the Bible and he writes it on all of his shoes. But yeah, you have it here on the tissue paper as well. Now, kicking things off with this colorful base, you have this synthetic leather around the lower portion of the sneaker and it's in a very colorful and vibrant wavy pattern. This pattern is inspired by the Bund in Shanghai, China which is a waterfront, it's very colorful and vibrant, and then it lights up at night and becomes an even more colorful scene. And they wanted to pay homage to that on the base of this sneaker. The wavy pattern, waterfront, you know, it, it all connects. And the pattern just looks so good on this sneaker. And you also have some perforations here at the lateral side of the toe, allowing your foot to breathe while you're playing in these. Moving upward, you have this black knitted sleeve such an iconic look on this sneaker and I'll go out on a limb and say that this had some sort of influence on the Yeezy basketball line. As you know, the Yeezy basketball sneakers all include the black booty construction right there in the middle as well. The knit on the Curry 4 is pretty firm, but it is stretchy enough to allow your foot to maneuver inside. It's breathable as it's knit, so air is able to permeate and reach your ankles. On the medial side, you have this suede feeling tab that also has more of that old SC Steph Curry branding. As you can see, these come with black laces, they're thin, and at the tips, it has more of that 
Sports Center Steph Curry SC branding. At the rear of the shoe, you've got this black pull tab to help you get your foot in and out, and it will definitely come in handy because like the Curry 8s with this knitted upper, it's a little difficult at times to get your foot inside. And then moving down at the rear, you have this pink Under Armour logo, or as it says on the website, Marathon Red. Now let's turn the shoe around and take a look at the speed plate peeking out on the lateral side. This is a full length plate containing your foot inside the shoe, and it allows you to perform dynamic movement while wearing the shoe. And as you look at this dark clear plate, you can see that greater than, less than sign on there, or maybe it's AC like Aisha Curry. Moving down to the midsole, we've got some white EVA foam, some pretty solid cushioning. It wraps around and cups your foot, as you can see here at the heel. On the lateral side, you have another look at that old SC logo and that pink or marathon red or orange, whatever color this is, this is essential to this colorway because it makes it pop. That SC just grabs your eye because it's so colorful and bright in contrast to the black knit. Now turning these over to the outsole, would you look at that? An icy blue translucent finish to the outsole of the Curry 4, more magic. You have a cross-centric traction pattern here. Lots of circular movements going on. It just looks so smooth. And I admittedly am a huge fan of sneakers with translucent soles because it makes me think of deodorant. You've got that black Under Armour logo at the rear of the outsole. And if you look really close, I don't even know if you'll be able to see this, but around that Under Armour logo, you have Wardell, that's Steph Curry's Gubby. You have the number 89, that's his career high. Just joking, 88, and you have Aisha. Aisha. And then on the other foot, you have Ryan Riley. Those are his daughters, of course. And then you have the years 12 and 15, because Riley, the savior of the NBA, was born in 2012 and Ryan was born in 2015. Another cool detail on the outsole of the Curry 4 More Magic, if you look at that right foot, on the bottom of that speed plate, you can also see Steph Curry's signature written out. Now, traction on these is super solid, but here in the future, we've already experienced the Curry 4 Floatro, all of those Under Armour Flow outsoles, I would still put the traction of the Floatros over these, of course, but you just have to admit, these look better. The original tooling with this midsole and outsole just looks better than the Floatro. That's the benefit of being able to add different colors to the outsole. But still, traction super solid on these. I'm able to change direction, stop on a dime. It makes for a very very comfortable ride as a basketball shoe. These are probably going to become my go-to basketball sneakers. Also, a little detail that I missed on the sole, here on the medial side, it says, I can do all things at the rear. So, it's pretty cool detailing here from Under Armour. But yeah, those are the details of the Under Armour Curry 4 More Magic. Before I give my overall thoughts on the shoe, let's talk about sizing. Now, I was able to pick these up in my usual size, a men's US 11, and I will say it fits a little bit snug, but that's kind of how I like a basketball shoe to fit. I don't want my foot to have too much room to move around in there, but if you're gonna be that first person to put these together with a fit and wear these casually, I would say maybe you might wanna go up a half size to give yourself a little bit of room, and if you're a wide footer, you may wanna go up a half size or even a full size if you can. Try to stop in at some foot store and see if you can actually try these on before purchasing. Now, overall, I love the Curry 4 More Magic. Like I said, this is my favorite colorway that's come from Under Armour and Steph Curry. Maybe a close one is the Warp the Game pair, but this is tops for sure. And I think this is Steph Curry's best silhouette as well. Obviously, Steph Curry won a championship wearing the four as well, so you do have that bit of history added in. I'd say that this is a great pickup. Maybe pickup of the year for me so far. I just wish that they would have cleaned up the release of these retros and had it a bit more publicized. I feel like nobody knew about these coming out. 
I can guarantee you that a lot of sneakerheads and especially basketball sneakerheads would have been very excited about a retro of the Curry 4. But sound off in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of the Under Armour Curry 4 Retro in the more magic colorway. Did you cop? Are you going to cop? Or just tell me how your day has been. Thank you all for tuning in. Remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and if you made it to this point in the video, comment Sports Center. Thanks again, y'all, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.